Hi guys, this is Martin, aka Martin the Vlogger, and this channel is everything about riding, fun, and petrol hair work. And today, today it is also about Q&A with me. And Jeff had a question about the license plate holder. Question that I'm receiving super often. Like, like super often, like if I would get, let's say $100 per, always per question about my license plate holder, I would have several hundred of dollars, definitely. Anyway, so today I will tell you very quickly, like what is the good thing, what is the bad thing, and what to be prepared for, and what I have used. And guys, I think this is pretty much it. In case you are not a subscriber, hit the subscribe button, have the notifications on, because every time I make a video, you will be notified, and I'm making cool videos pretty often. And now, let's get started. What is this basically all about? And I think I was really one of the very first with the F3 that has removed that, you know, that fender that I didn't like. And one thing was ugly fender. The second thing was ugly turn light signals because in Europe, we do not have turn light signals in these brake uh, lights as you guys in, the, in uh, America, we have those ugly ones that are up here. They are just absolutely terrible looking. And I also wanted to, you know, open the wheel because it's just fat tire that needs to be, you know, shown. Uh, by the way, these are the brake eyes. They're a little bit dirty, but brake eyes by MTV Manufacturing. And you can get them in the largest European shop for Canem Spider and Riker aftermarket pots. MartinTheVlogger.com slash shop. Definitely worth a visit. I'm working with Lamon, I'm working with PPA wheels, RLS, Baharon, and you can find MTV manufacturing out there as well. My company. Anyway, so uh, what, what it's, actually what is bad thing about all of this and what to be prepared, I think that's the most important info. Uh, also what is important, I'm using Rizoma. It's an Italian brand. It's a universal holder. I will share with you a link uh, to that holder so you can really Google it. But I'm, I'm really thinking like, you can find a lot of universal uh, license plate holders in case you are in the US, some, some local brand, whatever. Uh, these are the LED turn light signals, as I told you, I need to have them, not only because we do not have them in the, in the brake lights, but also because I would like to be a little bit visible, you know? Now, the worst thing about all of this is actually, um, the mount itself you need to drill holes and you need to like connect it and uh, it's it's not really difficult you just need to get remove or get rid of these lights and drill some holes and hold it you know from the bottom uh, of the passenger seat basically the downside is that because i'm a well-sized dude that's one thing the second thing is that the rear shock on all F3 uh, spiders is just cheap. The stock shock, shock it's absolutely cheap. And I was hitting uh, with the holder, the tire. So of course I was not changing the shock because of the $80 uh, uh, license plate holder, but I have to change the shock. And that's one thing you need to be prepared because I was, as I told you, I was hitting the tire with that. Next thing, what to be prepared, and maybe it's good to look at my video, uh, riding without fenders in the rain, something like that. Uh, <laughs> surprise, I showed you how it is, how to ride, or how it is the feeling with the riding in the rain without the fenders. Be prepared, you will be throwing a lot of rocks, whoever is behind you. I'm riding quite fast, so there is not a lot of people that can cope up with me, though. that's all fine, but you will be you know, throwing a lot of water at you and a lot of dirt. Uh, actually, I was doing another Q&A about all of the stuff that I I'm, I'm wearing. And this is already quite clean, but many times I'm getting super dirty from the mud and from everything because Martin the Vlogger is riding everywhere. So that's another downside of it. And of course, I'm not having front fenders as well. So yeah, I told you, riding in the rain without fenders. That's the video. And what else I should share with you? I mean, this is actually one good idea. Um, 
I'm trying, I will be definitely working on new Fender. I don't want to promise you if it will be available and when, but I would like to hold it here and the Fender will go right over here and it should have one cool feature against police, but I don't want to share anything because I have a lot of things on my plate. I think this is pretty much it. Uh, in case you have any questions, guys, go to the martinthevlogger.com slash forum. There is a Q&A with me right there and question, and I will try to reply you with a reader or a reply. In case you have more questions about the real license plate holder, feel free to write, but there is nothing more I can really share. And yeah, definitely, guys, go to the martinthevlogger.com slash shop, the largest European shop for Canon Spider and Riker aftermarket parts. And guys, most importantly, most importantly, remember, get rid of the fenders in case you want to and always have fun.